Hey everybody, I'm Brandon Grazley, and this is Grazley Games. We're back for another episode of MTG Noob, this time looking at a special type of enchantment called an aura. Here's an example, Sarah's Embrace. It is an enchantment, it has the subtype aura. Enchant creature, let's read the subtext there. Target a creature as you play this, this card comes into play attached to that creature. And as long as it remains attached to that creature, it stays on the battlefield. If they ever become detached in any way, this goes to the graveyard. And uh, if the creature dies, then this dies with it. Uh, in this case, the enchanted creature gets a bonus of plus two, plus two, flying and vigilance, which is a good thing. But you can also use a card like this, Pacifism, also an enchantment, an aura, enchant creature, enchanted creature can't attack or block. And this is a card you would use against one of your opponent's creatures to prevent it from uh, stopping you or attacking you. Epic Proportions, here's another enchantment. It has Flash, Enchanted Creature gets plus five, plus five, and has Trample. Now, just to compare, this Pacifism does not have Flash, which means you can only play it when you normally can play enchantments during one of your main phases uh, and not at instant speed. So when nothing else is going on on your main phases on your turn, you can play enchantments. In this case, with Epic Proportions, you can play it at instant speed. So this is kind of a combat trick and an aura put together. Here's Abundant Growth, also an aura. Enchant Land, this time instead of a creature. When it enters the battlefield, you also draw a card. And the Enchanted Land gains this extra ability. Tap it to add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Now that's not the same as whenever you tap the, man the land, you get extra mana. In this case, it just lets you, say, turn a forest into a uh, to, so that it taps for white mana instead of gre uh, green when you need it. Here's Viridian Harvest. Enchanted Artifact now. When Enchanted Artifact is put into the graveyard, you gain six life. So nothing special there. You have to wait for the artifact to die. This doesn't do anything in the meantime. Curse of Death's Hold lets you enchant a player. This is a special aura called a curse. This one is from Innistrad. Creatures enchanted player controls get minus one, minus one. Here's Steel Enchantment. It is it lets you enchant an enchantment, gain control of enchanted enchantment. A little bit of an awkward way to say this. This is before the aura keyword uh, the aura uh, subtype rather was around, but this is how this works. You enchant somebody else's enchantment and you get to use it as though it is yours. You gain control of it. And here we have imprisoned in the moon, an enchantment aura. You can enchant a land, uh, sorry, a creature, a land, or a planeswalker. The enchanted permanent is a colorless land with uh, some other stuff. It loses all other card types and abilities. So this is a way to, um, to nerf somebody else's dangerous thing. Uh, especially planeswalkers. There aren't a lot of ways to deal with those. So those are auras. They're pretty useful. They're a little bit dangerous because when uh, the thing that they're attached to dies, they die too. So sometimes you get two for one, we call it. You've used two cards and your opponent can take it out with just one. But that's how they work. So I hope this has been helpful. If it has, please hit the like and subscribe button. And of course, stay tuned for more MTG Noob episodes. Thanks very much, GG, and I'll talk to you soon.